Hello chess lovers, Zonin here and in today's video I want to share with you an aggressive attacking game played at 2021 US Junior Championship. On the white side is American chess grandmaster Hans Mok Niemann and his compatriot grandmaster Nikolas Cheka is playing with the black pieces. This is a game from round 3 and Niemann started with e4. E6 by Cheka, French defense is on the board, knight c3, knight f6, bishop g5 and d takes e4, the burn variation is on the board, knight takes e4, knight bd7, knight f3, bishop e7, an exchange of knights on f6 followed, bishop d3, this is a well known theoretical line which we have seen many times, c5 is on the board which is allowing black to get rid of white central d pawn, queen a5 check c3, queen takes c5 and also with c5 black is like somewhat exposing white's queen side and later organizing a queen side attack can be easier in case white castles queen side. Queen e2, black castled king side, and in return, white castled queen side. A bold decision, of course. Castling king side looks safer, but Neiman is a very aggressive player and he goes for it. He goes for castling for the sake of organizing a quick and ferocious attack on the king side. Knight g4. Well, this seems to be a bad move. Earlier this move had been seen five times, but without a success. Well, theory recommends a5, a5 and then a4. Going for a pawn push is better, trying to organize a queenside attack as soon as possible is better. And Stockfish suggests a6, which is also a decent move. If bishop e3, then queen a5. If bishop d4, then queen takes a2. Still, white has a better position, but this line is more preferable than the line starting with knight g4. Now we'll see what's the problem with it. Already, black is threatening to win this bishop, that's why white went for an exchange on e7. And then played queen e4 with a double attack. With knight f6, black neutralized both threads. Queen h4, rook e8. Yeah, already at this point we have a very nasty bishop takes h7 threat, right? That's why black played rook e8 and there followed g4. g6, g5. Uh, black fell behind in development in attack. And now it's white who is prevailing, white has an initiative and black is on the defensive side. Knight d5, knight e5, f6. This is already a serious mistake after which black's defense crumbles. Better was h5, trying to keep the king side locked and m passant capture is not possible because of queen takes h4. In this case black can prolong the resistance but instead we see f6 and now let's see what's the problem with it. Please pause the video and try to find white's next moves. Ready? Well I guess that the move is easy to find and we have knight takes g6. Although calculating up to the end going deeper is not that easy. Anyways, knight takes g6 followed. Uh, after bishop takes g6, we see f takes g5 and queen h6. The rook on e8 is hanging. Also, now white can switch the rook into the attack from the g file. Bishop d7. Finally, black is connecting the rooks, but it's too late. Well, after the game, during the analysis, during the press conference, Neiman suggested a move like queen f6 and uh, here is his idea how he was intending to proceed with the attack. He was intending to meet queen f6 with rook g1 and in case of rook e7, he was planning to go for an exchange sacrifice. 
Here is his comment on this move. Once I saw rook takes d5, I was like, oh, I'm going to win this tournament. If he takes d5, then bishop h7 check. And if king f7, then bishop g8 check and black is losing his queen. In the game, we have a different continuation. Bishop d7 was black's answer and we have bishop takes e8. Queen takes, oh, sorry. Queen takes e8, rook g1, there comes the rook and it's this exposed black king has no chance of surviving and victory is just a matter of moves. White is chasing black king and now we have rook h7 check. King d8, rook f7, queen h8 and now you can give a try to find Neiman's next move. Ready? Well, this time we see rook takes d5, a very, very beautiful game, I think. Finally, in this line, we also see this destructive rook takes d5 move. Removing the knight is important. It was keeping the position together, was solidifying the defense, and after queen d6, resignation followed. If queen e8, then rook f8, and black is losing the queen. A very nice game which I hope that you enjoyed greatly. In the end a chess puzzle for you where the task is to win with the black pieces. As usual we'll wait for your answer in the comment section. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in my next video.